Hey guys, today I'm going to quickly show you how to make stylized hair or fur in Blender. I recently had to do a project that um, required me to do some fur tufts and I thought this was a really good way of doing it. Please ignore my terrible looking Suzanne, I just wanted to show you how it could, could potentially look. Obviously I took two seconds on this but uh, yeah, we're going to be using curves and it's easy manipulated uh, to however you want it. Scale, rotation, everything. So let's get into it. It is very fast, very quick to do, and uh, it'll save you a lot of time. So first of all, what you want to do is add a path curve as well as a circle curve. These are the only two things that you will need. We'll rotate them quickly so we can see both of, both of them. All right, so we click on the path curve. You can click in this uh, data options on the right hand side. Click into geometry and click and a bevel object and then select the bezier circle. So they will take the same shape and form as this bezier circle. So next we need to edit this bezier circle so we can alter the shape of this path curve. So what you want to do is go to edit, edit mode with tab and see it all has these anchor points and whatever that you change the anchor point to will affect the shape you have. So if you made it flat like this, it'll do the same shape. And if you made it long like this, see it's a little smiley face. How do we make the index? Well, you can change the, the scale of these bezier points with, with S. And you can make sharp edges. So if we collect these, if we change it to individual origins, make these sharp. And these are all sharp edges. So we're starting to take shape. Also, we can subdivide between two points and create another point where we could, again, do the similar thing. And we can create another point coming off of this. And same on this side, if we wanted to do the same, scale it in, move it in, we're making more of a unique shape. It is literally just playing around with this. You can scale it, rotate these around, and get a unique looking shape. But how does this look like a hit? So what we want to do is to go edit mode of this path, and we can affect these points along the path. So if we press Alt S, we can affect the scale of them. So in this case, if we just press Alt S and then zero, it'll create it to a nice point and we can do the same to the other end. So we're already starting to get the shape of A. Um, obviously it's extremely rounded. We didn't change the back of this at all, but we could just flatten that out if you wanted. So it's just flat. Or you can make more indents like this thing. However you want your stylized hair to look. We can manipulate these points by just moving them around with the G key on your keyboard and create unique shapes. So we can, as I said, Alt S alters the scale of them and Control T will rotate them. You can create some really unique looking shapes. So then you can, uh, of course, just manipulate these parts if you like the look of it and it will update the path underneath. If we then wanted to make another one, you can duplicate this and make it change the shape of it to fit the different point of the hair on your model. Or you can create a completely new circle. So if we made a new one, we duplicate this over here. We just change under the object properties this new one. And we can create a whole new shape. So it is literally just playing around with how you want to get it to look. The more points you have, the more detail you can get within the hair. But as I've shown you at the start, you know, you can just do some basic shapes and get some different effects. This is obviously a lot thinner, lots of points. This is a lot more rounded, so it's just subtle detail. Um, similar to these, this is this one has taken the form of everything is really close together on the anchor points, so you get these sharper edges here. And as I said, you just you just duplicate this over here and just manipulate it however you want onto your uh, model. It just requires a lot of playing around, a lot of trial and error to get the look how you want, create the hair that you want to begin with, and then there's a lot of playing around with this on the actual model. As I said, the most important keys are Control T to rotate the anchor, the points, and Alt S to scale. If you just press S to scale, nothing will happen unless you're in uh, object mode. Just scale the entire thing. If you want to scale the individual sections. This one big, or and then this one really small, like a leaf shape, <laughs> but it might work for you. You can even extrude these points as well, so you can add more 
points for you to manipulate. Um, but you can't extrude from the center of them. It just completely messes up. So yeah, you can just create these quick waves of hair or fur. Like I, as I said, I was working on some fur. And I just wanted little tufts coming off of the off of the beast. So I did a unique shape with this, but just very subtly and then sculpted it in. Obviously, if you want to sculpt this in then together, you can convert all these because these are always editable at, the po at this point. However, you can um, right click and convert to mesh and it will convert the hair to mesh, which you can then go into sculpt mode and play around with. But yeah, guys, that was just a quick tutorial on uh, stylized hair slash fur. Um, use it however you wish. This Obviously, this was really rough and uh, not a good show of what it can do, but you guys play around with it. Hope that was useful to somebody. Um, I just wanted to remind myself, especially with the shortcuts. The shortcuts are probably the most important thing to remember. But uh, if you liked the video, please click the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, and I will keep making more videos. Thanks so much, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.